Bartender. Yeah, man. Give me another drink. Guys. It's the scariest thing out in the woods. I was hunting a boar. And then all of a sudden I started hearing leaves crackling. And then I turned around and there's this guy. He's, it must have been like some sort of vagrant or something. He had like a freaking axe. He started chasing me so I started running for my life. Would have shot him but I had no ammo. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's all you have to say? I nearly had my freaking head cut off and he nearly ate me. An asshole would have ate me. Well, I have an idea. Let's get him. And how do you propose we do that? Go and track him. I heard stories about such creatures around here. They say they come and eat your head off from your neck. What? Could this have been the guy? What did they say that he looked like? He's about seven feet tall. He carries an axe. And he comes for you at night. At night? Yes. Did you guys see that? Yeah. What was that? So, we know what we have to do now. What do we have to do? We gotta get him. He's what? gonna you... come bite our heads off if we don't kill him. But I'm not going out there again. We no. have three. Three versus one. We have to do it. Haven't you ever seen the movies, guys? Three versus one. It doesn't matter if there's 50 versus one. He always just sneaks up on you and freaking takes your ass off. It's your head, not your ass. All right, let's go. <laughs> I brought this here gun to shoot the mother in his head before he bites my mother head off. Constitution says I have the right to bear arms. I'm a mother bear this arm. Mm -hmm, that it does. Let's go. Guys, guys, wait. If you're gonna kill him, you're gonna need my 10 years of marine experience. I don't need no experience. Rednecks out here know how to shoot a gun better than your sorry ass. That you may, but this guy, he's an experienced killer. If what you said is true. He ain't a man. He he's a man eater. It doesn't mean he's not a good killer. You really need to learn how to track him. I guess you can come with us. Alright. Alright, that's three. Where are we gonna set up camp? Over here. Oh, what, what is this? This is the boar I was talking to you about. Holy s. I would have brought him home, but I didn't have time. This is what the mother did to him. He cut him in half. I can see that. I mean, Jesus, guys, like. This is like a clean s right here. What the. I mean. If any of us get hit by that, we're gonna be screwed. We gotta keep going. If this guy's around here, we're not gonna live comfortable. Alright, guys, we're almost there. Why the hell is it taking so long? Alright, guys. Let's Damn, it's like being All right, we're, we're gonna sit up right here. Now, it's getting kind of dark out, so I think we should each keep watch. I'll go first. Christian, you can go second. Alex, you can go third.
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I got a, I got a round that's going right through your f***ing head. It's got your f***ing name on it. Alright, I think I'm getting closer. Wake up, man. What's up? What time is it? I don't know. Looks pretty early in the morning. Yo, where'd he go? What? He was there just two seconds ago. Oh, Our fire is out. Oh. Where? Where could he have gone? I don't know. You gotta go look for him, though. anything that we can salvage. What the shit? What the fuck? Get out of here.
I was hunting a boar, and then all of a sudden I started here. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> ah! You're gonna keep going. You're gonna need my 10 years of UMSC, UNSM. Sorry, Jesus Christ. Military experience. <laughs> <laughs>